welcome again guys in this video tutorial we'll be talking about zinc finger motif so what is zinc finger zinc finger is a structural motif of proteins right so what is structural motif we all know that we have proteins i mean amino acids joined one after another to make us the peptide now once we get the peptide that is folded and folding is the most important thing for the functional perspective of proteins and for the folding we have different kinds like alpha helix arrangement that's called the secondary structure or beta sheet arrangements so those alpha helix or beta sheets or whatever those things are there those are secondary structure now those secondary structures are further rearranged between themselves to make further fold and then we call it a tertiary structure of proteins and those tertiary structures belonging to the different kind of structural domains and structural motifs now structural motifs means there are interaction between all those secondary structures alpha helix with beta sheet or alpha helix with alpha helix beta sheets with beta sheets and loop and turn and all these things are present there so we call them kind of structural motif three dimensional structural motif now the zinc finger is a type of uh, sorry it's spelling should we see it's simply the zinc iron that's what it's zinc so in this case this zinc finger is a kind of structural motif three dimensional structural motif that is present in many proteins and most of the time these zinc finger motifs are found in those proteins which are interacting with dna or rna most of the cases and we know there are plenty of proteins that are interacting with dna or rna most of the examples are transcription factors right all those transcription factors that are present and interacting with polymer uh, i mean promoter region and all these sections those are dna interacting proteins and they should have this kind of zinc finger motif now why this name came because it was discovered in xenopus levis in xenopus levis transcription factor 3 in this case xenopus levis okay this is a kind of frog and this thing is discovered transcription factor 3 in the variety of transcription factor 3 we find that a specific type of motif which is a kind of structure like this if I draw I am drawing it just in a crude uh, drawing so it is not kind of appropriate okay so let us say like this something like this for example say like okay so if we draw a kind of structure like that where you can see the beta sheets are there alpha helix is there loop is there turn is there so it's kind of structure 3d structure and in the middle there is a zinc there is a zinc ion present and this zinc is interacting with all of these different regions it's interacting with this alpha helix, beta sheet, the loop, everything it is interacting with. And this, it was later understood that this zinc is very, very important to maintain this structural fold out there because it is holding all these structures together by interacting with different moieties of the amino acids present there. And this, this is the function of the zinc out there. But this, this whole motif is having all these amino acids protruding out which will interact with DNA and RNA because you know there are plenty different varieties of amino acids out there and those combinations of amino acids are very important for different purpose for binding with DNA or RNA we require a specific type of amino acids only other amino acids will not bind with DNA and RNA so for the proper binding with DNA and RNA we need those amino acids and those amino acids are present so depending upon the type of amino acid that are present in those domains that are present in those structural motif determines where exactly it's going to bind and how the whole process is going, going to work because the amino acid segment it depends on the type of amino acid that is present right the type of amino acid that is present and then this the whole thing of interaction determines so previously it was understood that this is uh, denoted only by zinc and all those structures of proteins and secondary structures are protruding out just like kind of finger so people call it a zinc finger motif but now it was understood that that this this is not this is not only zinc it can be iron it can be anything else it can be iron it can be no even no any other of those component can also be present i mean uh, no element can also present here 
I mean, we have found same kind of similar functionality motif without any of the ions present, right? So, it may be possible. Iron in some cases also be found. So, the idea is not about what kind of ions are present, right? But remember all this case, zinc, iron, all this, whatever iron, uh, iron present, they are kind of positively charged in all these cases. Because, you know, DNA, and RNA, all this, they have a backbone of negative charge. So, obviously, zinc, iron, magnesium, those things are having positive charge. So, obviously, there is an interaction played between them. But even if there is no ions present, still this structural motif is possible. And it was found next, I mean, later stages. And in those cases, but the functionality remains the same. And this is a kind of different interacting site made with different amino acids located one after another. And they are interacting with tandem structures in the mRNA or tandem structures of the DNA. Because we have a particular structure in the mRNA or DNA. Let us say this. This is the let us say mRNA that we are talking about. And we have a tandem structure and this zinc finger motif start to bind with this structure in different places. Okay. This is a good thing. I mean, now this zinc finger, as you know, this is present in transcription factors, right? Because this zinc finger is nothing but DNA, RNA, or protein interacting domains, right? So, whatever zinc finger is present, we can say that it can interact with DNA or RNA with proteins. So, now let us imagine the situation. So, normally inside the cell, it is very important for regulating the transcription regulating the translation, DNA replication and many more processes, cellular processes also like cellular trafficking processes in some cases because of the protein-protein interaction nature. But in, uh, in synthetic way, if we think of this process is that we can design, we can modify the amino acid sequence that is present in the active side of this zinc finger structure. Now, if we modify, because we have seen in different experiments, the specific amino acid will interact with specific region of the DNA or RNA. So now, by altering the amino acid combination in the zinc finger domain, what we can do is that we can make a protein attached with a specific section of our desired gene. We can do that. So we can take this zinc protein out, we can redesign that zinc finger domain by protein designing or protein uh, modeling uh, elements and protein modeling using bioinformatics we can do that and then we can apply that so that it will only bind with the with our designated section of the gene right and we can control the expression of certain genes by applying those designed or modified zinc finger domain containing protein right this is a kind of thing that we can achieve and another thing we have also seen all these proteins that are having the zinc finger domain they also have a particular site of attachment, right? So, let us say this is a protein where this is the zinc finger domain and this is a site for attachment. We have already uh, designed certain other proteins which are called as fusion proteins, fusion protein. So, we can design this fusion protein and make it attached with the zinc finger domain containing protein. Now, this fusion protein with zinc finger domain, right? So, let us say this is a protein which we want to provide to a particular region of a gene of a promoter to turn on the synthesis of those genes, I mean turn on the transcription of those genes. But it is not possible from outside, from, from inside in vitro conditions. So, what we do, we have designed, redesigned this zinc finger domain and also attach a fusion protein which is control which will control the whole process so simply we take the zinc finger part only and fuse it with our desired protein which will control the process of transcription and then we apply it now we know that zinc finger is de designed in such a way that it is bind it will bind with this promoter so now this zinc finger will bind with this promoter and let's say the gene transcription will start so it can turn on or turn off a section of the genes transcription and we can control that from outside. We can make these things from outside, fuse a protein of our desire and we can apply it there. So, this opens a new window of metabolomics. So, the protein-protein interaction, protein-DNA, protein-RNA interaction, this whole re array of metabolomics is possible due to the presence of the zinc finger domain, right? 
so we can use that and in this case this is very very useful tool right now so that's kind of it about the zinc finger motif i hope you like the video if you hit like the video hit the like button as well as share this video with your friends in other social networks and also do subscribe to get more videos like this thank you